Good morning friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 13th, 2023. Well, is today the day we have been waiting for though? Well, what the market has been waiting for, chopping, chopping, chopping back and forth as we wait on that CPI number. Will this be the day that we make the decision whether or not we're going to break out of the top of this um, choppy range or down through the bottom. Only time will tell. So how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, of course, whatever happens is going to happen likely uh, before the market opens, and that's going to be the, the CPI report and whether it helps um, support the Fed in saying that inflation is under control or if it engages them further with um, the threat of new interest rate increases. And um, obviously that's not gonna be the end of the story this week, but it could give us finally some movement here in the market. So looking at the diamonds, you can see right here, if the bulls were to be inspired, um, we can all see that possibility that we may cross back up, maybe test yesterday's high here in the chart. And if we can break through that on a decent gap up, maybe we're coming up in here to test that level, breaking this trend, uh, downtrend in the chart. If the bull, or excuse me, the bears were to find um, inspiration, well, we could possibly see that break of this price support level here and even the trend the upside trend that we've been holding on to here in the diamonds may be moving down into this level. And then of course, if that level were not to hold, then down here to some of these uh, lows that were um, late last month. So watch those areas carefully here in the chart. And remember, they can happen all at once here in the pre-market. Let's take a look at our SPY. Very similar situation here in the SPY, except we're already getting just a little bit of bearishness here in the pre-market this morning. We may be trying to give up this trend. And if you look at these uh, failure patterns in here, this is not the best situation here um, for that three candle pattern in the chart. And I did forget to mention, let me go back to the diamonds here just for this for a second. And I did forget to mention that this um, constitutes a failure of our, unfortunately, failure of our 50-day moving average. So it, it is possible this is a lower high, um, maybe even um, sharpening up that potential downtrend here in the chart. Um, again, looking at the SPY, um, this would constitute a failure of our 50-day moving average as well if we were, hap were to get follow-through to the downside. And you can see here in the pre-market, we are getting a little follow-through, but that could easily change very quickly as soon as the market um, figures out how they're going to react to the CPI number. So watching that closely, if the bulls were to find inspiration here today then let's look for a retest of this level up here in the chart and if they can pop through there maybe we'll test this trend and boy it would have to be a big move but the possibility of then coming up here to this next resistance level in the chart and then of course if the bears were to be inspired um, possibly breaking this trend and then you'd look for a test down in here and a failure in that area would probably push us down into this next level of the market. 
let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ remains the strongest of the indexes. And you can see at the end of the day yesterday, we ended up holding right there on our 50 day moving average. Fortunately, we're feeling a little bit of bearishness here in the pre-market heading toward that CPI number. So as you can see, we kind of rested or finished the day just above, let me pull this back a little bit, just above this important price support level in the chart. This morning we're pushing down to test that. And you can also see I've got this line in here that was that uh, initial trend break here in um, the market. And we're, we sat right on that or maybe even violated it just a little tiny bit at the close yesterday. And we're setting right on this upside trend. So if the bulls were to find inspiration and use this area as support and push up, then I'm going to be looking for that possibility that we break higher here, take out these highs, and then maybe even push on up to test that trend and even the next resistance level from that prior high. If the bears were to find inspiration today, continue to push, then I'm gonna look for this area in here to break. Um, look for a test of support down here. Of course, that's giving up this little upside trend. And then we would fall into this area if we continue to push lower. If we look at our IWM, boy, IWM just really has not been impressed. We, we tried to bump up there yesterday, um, get something going. We couldn't quite even make it to um, the high of the prior day and then gave it all back. We're very, very close to testing the 200 day moving average. You can see a little tiny bit of bearishness here this morning. If those bears were to engage and break that 200 day, then look for a level down in here to be tested. Now, if if we go back here and take a look, if I were to drag this down into here, you can see there's look just the, those those bottoms of those two candles right there really as support. If that were not to hold, and I think we're coming down into this region in here. A uh, bigger, little bit bigger support level in here, a little bit lighter support level right in there, and they could all come together if we use the wicks and tails in um, that price action. So bears may be uh, coming down into there if they can really get inspired. Now, if the bulls, if the bulls get inspired, then let's look first for a break of this resistance level right in here in price action. Notice that extends across this level right in here. And if um, they can push on up above that, then I think we have that chance we could attack this downtrend in this next resistance level in the chart that runs clear through over here. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX kind of opposite of yesterday where we gapped up and then pulled all the way back and then yesterday we gapped down and drove all the way back up um, with a little, quite a bit of choppiness intraday and you can see we left behind that hint of that possibility that this could create the higher low here in the chart and that would be problematic if the bears are inspired here this morning um, breaking through this next level up here would kind of confirm that uh, lower high and may start bring, bringing a little bit more fear into the market. However, if those bulls are inspired today and this breaks down, I think there's a really good chance we're testing this level down in here and maybe even breaking lower if the emotion of the market is high enough. Let's take a look at our uh, T21 oh whoops t2122 t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and i get more questions on this than um than you can shake a stick at but all it really is is the uh, uh, the four week new high new low ratio they take four week new highs four week new lows make a ratio out of it and um it gives us a very good information of overbought or oversold conditions in the market. What it's showing us right now is we're hedging our bet. We just don't know what to do. At the high point yesterday, um, T2122 was up here, but then we pulled back 
not really showing us a lot of energy here in the market that's one of the things we've been lacking is momentum and as you can see right here kind of hooking over just a little bit so what that tells us is if the bears find inspiration we certainly have opened up a pretty substantial uh, potential move to the downside if they get inspired and if the bulls are inspired today we've got an even bigger upside opportunity if they can get going so watch that carefully here in the chart and then our uh, t2108 unfortunately um, t2108 improved just a little tiny bit yesterday but obviously not enough to really give you a big warm and fuzzy here in that chart if you'll notice we still have price resistance in that area and um, if we can break through there on a bullish move then we're looking at resistance up in this area but the good news is if the bears were inspired we've got a little tiny bit of support in here before we would drop through into levels down in here 31 uh, almost 32 percent of the stocks above their 40 day so again just not really impressive yesterday but nothing really was we were just kind of chopping around marking time um, waiting for the number that's coming out this morning um, t2107 very much the same thing you can still see that head and shoulders pattern very clearly here in the chart very little uh, in, uh, move here yesterday but the good news is we did hold on to that neckline area here so if the bulls are inspired maybe we retest some of these areas up in here pushing us higher if um, the bears find inspiration today then look for this area to break and maybe we're coming back down to test some of these lower areas in t2108 or excuse me 07 45 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average so it's not terrible yet but it's not giving us um, a big uh, amount of confidence either and then uh, t2101 t2101 saw that breadth continuing to pull back here and that's not a surprise we've been very very choppy um, in the market we just are not feeling enough momentum to push through anywhere um, in the market so hopefully fingers crossed that changes today and we can get some better price action that may be uh, much more actionable let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today and our economic calendar um, of course there it is our economic calendar has a few more things for us to be paying attention to here this morning uh, we're gonna have mortgage applications here this morning keep an eye on that obviously probably not the best of situations there because we've been continuing to see those bond yields hold high uh, that's pushing those um, um, interest rates higher might be a little bit difficult to do a lot of mortgage writing uh, when that is going on um, we've obviously seen some pain in that here recently um, and unfortunately bond yields are going up this morning in anticipation of this number um, we are at 5.3 percent on my last look on the two-year bond so we're continuing to press to the upside there if you uh, take a look um, right after that before the bell an hour before um, we really open up the market CPI is going to come in and that's going to make that decision as to whether or not we're going to be moving to the upside or downside and um, I wish I could give you an idea what's going to happen I really don't um, I think anything is possible here uh, this morning um, we have uh, Atlanta Fed business activity or business inflation expectations probably not going to matter all that much on the day and then of course this petroleum status number will be very important as well as we continue to see those energy prices surge which have an inflationary effect as we continue to move up it really puts stress on the consumers that are already very stressed so watch that one closely if we continue to see supplies decline that could be 
problematic as we see those um, gas prices, oil prices continue to move higher. 30-year bond auction today, and then, of course, Treasury statement, which probably not going to make much difference. And unfortunately, we get through this, and one of the next things we're going to do is we're going to be thinking about this group of uh, reports tomorrow that are all market moving, jobless claims, PPI, um, that's our producer prices. If you remember last month when we took these readings, CPI showed us an improvement. PPI showed us something not so good um, because our producer prices were starting to come up a little bit. And then we've got retail sales. And this could be challenged right now. We've seen a lot of retailers reporting some pretty ugly um, earnings reports. Um, suggesting that the consumers are starting to make some different decisions. So um, let's keep a close eye on that. Business inventories, natural gas, a couple of announcements in here, a couple of bond auctions, and then the Fed balance sheet at the end of the day. So keep that in mind as you plan forward into Thursday. Let's take a look at a few stocks that... Um, uh, oh, wait a second. We need to take a real quick look at our... Um, earnings calendar which really doesn't make a whole uh, it's not a real big deal here today uh, CBRL uh, Cracker Barrel will be reporting today obviously uh, ugly ugly downtrend um, not looking good there right now for Cracker Barrel but maybe if they can produce a good enough earnings report um, that could change things what I think we're seeing here is the weakening of the consumer and it's having negative effects on a lot of retail uh, type selling um, including restaurants if we take a look we also have REVG that will be reporting today now this has been holding in a nice bullish pattern up here holding in this consolidating range this could be important for the stock but not likely a market moving event so and that is it for the notable earnings today so with that how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could do me that quick favor and that would be um, click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow also just remember it doesn't you don't have to do a, a, a long dissertation um, I'm happy to answer any question that I can but just an emoji um, helps the channel to continue to grow also um, I want to remind everyone I put out a really short video yesterday you might want to go check that out I'm, I'm going to be doing a speaking engagement um, on Thursday in case you wanted to come on over it's all going to be on price action and then the um, uh, Next thought is that um, all of next week, I'm gonna open right way options um, for an open house so you can ask your questions and um, get involved with the room, see what we're all about. Check that out. I left links in that video, um, that really short video I pre um, posted yesterday. Let's take a quick look at some stock setting up. Remember guys, these aren't rec are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're gonna have to do your own due diligence be very very careful here in the market because I do think anything is possible this morning let's take a look um, Visa uh, is in a really nice pattern here Visa has been moving up in this beautiful upside trend you can see a nice little hold of support in here kind of consolidating out here toward the trend and I really like the fact that the price action has tightened up here in this very tight range as you notice right in here the last four days so if we can hold this area in here, I would be looking for that next opportunity to pop on through. And I did place a price alert up here to see if that's going to pop and continue to move to the upside. Watch that one closely. Um, completely different industry, as you can see, I've got um, AT&T here. AT&T has been trying to come out from underneath this downtrend, a little bit higher lows. They did catch telecommunications, did catch some um, um, 
upside upgrades here. Um, good, strong dividend payers. If you're looking for something to hold as a stock for a dividend payer and look for more of a longer term position, AT&T might be right up your alley. But watch that closely here, that possibility that we could pop on through. Came close yesterday before we reversed popping my alert as long as we hold in here i'm going to keep watching and see if that can pop on through i might just pick up a little bit so um, watch that one carefully as you guys know i i mentioned roku in here that possibility that roku could hold boy yesterday kind of turned around and went south we ended up closing right on the trend line here as you can see giving up a little bit of this price support obviously we still have some price support here that could catch us um, looking uh, in the pre-market here this morning we're looking a little bit lower so we're going to need something bullish to turn this around and bring this back up if there's going to be that opportunity to go higher if not watch that carefully this could become a pretty good short with a breakdown rally back and then we start that downside move here in the chart so keep an eye on roku um, how about 3m 3m's holding into a pretty nice pattern here um, rallying up nicely holding above this big resistance area here that's now support and just kind of resting back here and consolidating so i don't know where this trend would begin this might be a little steep this may have to rest a little bit more but you just don't know um, just keep a close eye on this if this were to tighten up in a little bit tighter pattern it gets all the better watch carefully there on 3m we're seeing some signs in some of these uh, old boring stocks um, here in the market you might want to take a look at um, altria as well Altria, as you'll notice, breaking this downtrend here, pushing up strongly the last few days. What I need to see now is I need to see a rest, consolidation, pullback that holds that trend as support. Um, and, and I would like to see it hold this trend as well. I drew that out just a little bit too far. But looking for that next potential move here in Altria. Um, keep a close eye on that. And then, of course, you have to look at the energy sector. My, oh my, did um, we get a big push yesterday. Complete reversals in a lot of stocks. Take a look at ExxonMobil here. ExxonMobil had that big bearish engulfing candle stretched out like crazy yesterday. And you can see we're approaching some highs here in the market as Exxon moves on up. We've got APA. Um, um, Occidental uh, breaking through some resistance. Uh, ConocoPhillips continuing to move up. PSX looking strong. And then if you look at some of our um, um, refiners, there's the word. Um, refiners, take a look at uh, like Halliburton um, stretching to the upside. Probably needs a little rest. Uh, Valero. Uh, energy um, whoops let's get Valero um, also just stretching up big time here in the chart we have really got some bullishness going on here in the um, energy sector and then we also even saw a recovery here in natural gas still in this big rectangular uh, bottom um, area here in the chart I don't think um, this is ready for any kind of a, uh, a purchase um, um, yet but you can see a little bit of a downtrend if we can break that and hold a higher low then maybe we can start to show some signs of some life here in the natural gas sector heading into the winter which is a common cyclical pattern um, last but not least let's talk just a little bit um, about what's going on here in the u.s dollar u.s dollar continuing to strengthen here we did gap down um, the day before but we turned around push right back up so that possibility that we may maintain this upside trend if the dollar remains strong and, and, and one of the things that we need to be paying attention to is those bond yields that continue to stretch higher at least this morning as we go into that CPI number watch that carefully a, a CPI number that would suggest the Fed is going to have to do more work here could certainly expand that and that of course would um, put a lot of struggle on uh, those 
commodity uh, sector type stocks so watch that closely so with that guys i want to wish you all a fantastic day thank you so much for being here i do appreciate it be a little bit careful this morning i would expect if we can get a a gap this morning with the cpi number probably going to be some volatility and whipsaw in that um just give it take a breath um, watch and wait carefully for your entry into the trade and um, just remember that Thursday we have another batch of data that could be um, substantially volatile as well. So with that everyone have an awesome one and I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Wishing you all the very very best.